Hello Internet and welcome to another craft video. I'm Becky Stern and today I'm going to show you how to do another simple soft circuit project that will have your shoes customized, ruffled and all twinkly. You'll need a pair of LED sewing kits you can get from the Maker Shed as well as some standard sewing supplies and a pair of paper clips. The first thing you'll do is cut out 16 identical circles out of your fabric, eight for each shoe. So I'm just taking a drinking glass that's about the right diameter, or say two, two and a half inches, and I'm gonna trace it onto my fabric with a pencil. If the fabric you've chosen is prone to fray, use heat to gently singe the edges of all 16 circles. The basic idea is that each circle gets folded in half twice to form a wedge. The wedges are then stacked up to form the ruffle. I want the light to radiate from inside the ruffle, so I'm piercing the centers of two circles with the LEDs. I'll evenly distribute these illuminated wedges in the ruffle stack. Be sure both longer positive leads are facing the same side of the stack and stitch the fabric in place with plain thread. Splay the leads out and coil them up with pliers to make them easier to sew. I like to make the positive leads square coils and the negative leads round coils so I can tell them apart. The next step is to make a battery holder and that'll also hold the ruffle to the shoe. Cut a matching piece of felt to double over the battery and trim it to be round. So one side of the battery is positive and one side is negative. If I can sew two little conductive thread pads, one on each side of the battery holder, when it wraps around it'll make those contacts. Then the threads can go off to the LEDs and power them up. The next step is to attach the LED ruffle to the battery holder. I left the needle threaded here and on the conductive thread because I just hate threading needles and I'd rather use two needles than thread a needle twice as often. Stitch the ruffle to the top of the battery holder with plain thread and then connect each tail of conductive thread to the LEDs. The circuit is the same as my LED embroidery tutorial, where both positive leads are connected to one thread and both negatives to the other. The LEDs are now wired in parallel, where each gets three volts from the battery. The next step is to stitch your battery holder closed, but before that, I wanna make sure my circuit works. It's easier to fix things while the battery holder's open here. So I'm just gonna put the battery the way I think it goes, and there it lights up. If it doesn't light up immediately, you can try flipping the battery over, meaning you had your positives and negatives reversed. And then if it still doesn't light up, bust out your trusty multimeter and test for any continuity problems or shorts within the conductive thread, because they're very common. Stitch the battery holder shut with plain thread, leaving a small space from which to remove the battery and insert the paper clip. You just stick one half of the paper clip into the back of the battery holder. and then the other part onto the shoe. So now I've got a pair of LED shoe clips. These can be great if you want your bridesmaids to all look the same but be able to wear shoes they already own. You'll definitely get noticed at a party and they could even help you find your way in a dark parking lot. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you make a pair of LED shoe clips, I wanna see them. So post a picture in the craft flicker pool and I'll see you next time.